The sound unit. A compression or longitudinal wave is a sound wave. A compression or longitudinal wave has two parts. The compression parts are where the molecules are pressed together, as shown in blue. The rarefaction parts are where the molecules are spread apart, as shown in red. Here is another picture of a sound wave, just with molecules. Again, the compressions are in blue and the rarefactions are in red. The wavelength in a compression wave is the distance from one point on a wave to the same point on the next wave. We can have a wavelength from compression to compression, or you can have a wavelength from rarefaction to rarefaction, as shown in green. Sound is a form of energy. The source is the ambulance. The sound will be louder for person A than person B and C. The sound will be louder for person B than for person C. Light travels faster than sound. First, we see lightning. Then, or second, we hear the thunder. A vacuum is a space without air or medium. The bell in the vacuum still works, but no sound is heard. Sound waves only travel where there is medium. Medium equals matter. There are three types of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. Sound travels the fastest through solids. Solid examples include desk, table, various metals, various rocks, and the ground. Sound travels through liquids slower than solids, but faster than gas. Molecules are slightly further apart. The ocean, ponds, milk, juice, and gasoline are just a few examples of liquids. Sound travels the slowest through gas, reason being that the molecules are even further apart. Some gas examples are oxygen or air, carbon dioxide, and helium. The relationship between frequency and pitch. Frequency is the number of times an object vibrates in a given period of time. The higher the frequency, the higher the pitch. Ding! Lower the frequency, the lower the pitch. Dong! The relationship between amplitude and volume. Volume is how loud or soft the sound is heard. The lower the amplitude, the quieter the sound. And the higher the amplitude, the louder the sound. For humans to make sound, our vocal cords must vibrate. To feel your vocal cords vibrating, you can touch your neck and say, ah. Uh. Dogs can hear high-pitched sounds and can detect sounds before humans. Bats, whales, dolphins, and more use echolocation to find food or prey, see their surroundings, warn others of possible threats. Humans cannot hear these high-pitched sounds. Sonar. Boats and submarines use sonar to see underwater. They send pings that reflect off of the ocean floor and give humans an image of underwater, similar to echolocation. Instruments vibrate to produce sound. Percussion instruments must be hit to cause vibration. Xylophone, cymbals, and drums are just a few examples of percussion instruments. In the case of string instruments, the string vibrates. In the case of a violin, the bow moves across the strings to cause vibrations. Piano is also a string instrument. In wind instruments, the instrument vibrates when you blow. The flute or the clarinet are just a few wind instruments. For electric instruments, they produce sound with electric current. Reading a sound level chart. dB stands for decibels, the unit used to measure the intensity of sound. On this chart, a volcano eruption has the highest intensity with 190 decibels, and breathing has the lowest intensity with 10 decibels. Here are some credits. Here are more credits. And these are the final credits. Hope this helps with your sound test. Please see the previous slides for credits of all the images that were used in the video. Thank you so much for providing such wonderful pictures.